Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back. Today's topic is, why is your ex contacting you, but not trying to get back together? Ooh, it can be a very confusing situation after a breakup. You've decided to do no contact, and yet your ex reaches out. Maybe you respond, maybe you don't. And they may keep reaching out, but why? Well, that is the million dollar question. And I'm going to answer that. But first, I want to remind you to be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any future videos. While you're at it, tap the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video is up. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Lucia D. And that is spelled L U C I A D. Okay, so why is your ex contacting you after the breakup? Do they want to get back together? That's probably your first thought and hope. Well, maybe, but the only way to know for sure is if A, they want to see you, and B, they actually say it. But what if they're not trying to meet up? Or if you do meet up once, twice, several times, but they don't want to get back together, or they don't mention anything about getting back. Why are they reaching out? and staying in touch? Well, it could be, as usual, many reasons besides getting back together. The fact that they're contacting you means they want something. People don't do things without a payoff, but what do they want? Well, it's going to be up to you to figure it out, or up to me to figure it out if we do a coaching session. You just have to wait and the reason will eventually become evident as long as you're not obscuring the vision with your desires to get back together. Keep your eyes open. Often, if it's a guy, he will just want sex. Yeah, I know you didn't want to hear that. Maybe he hasn't found someone else yet, or he is seeing someone but enjoyed sex with you. However, do not think that having sex is going to bring him back. If only it was that easy. <laughs> The part of the brain which falls in love is not the same part which wants to have sex. So you are basically barking up the wrong tree. So do not have sex until you are officially back together if you're trying to get your ex back. It could be for an ego boost. The fact that you're still willing to deal with them even though they broke up with you. Or things aren't going well and talking with you makes them feel better. But you have to ask yourself, does it make you feel better? It could be that they want someone to talk to. Maybe they're lonely. Maybe they're bored. So they hit you up. But again, what do you get out of it? It's easier for them to get over the breakup if they're in touch with you. Even though they wanted to add things, it's still painful for them. So they reach out whenever they feel down. Another reason could be that they feel guilty. They know you're upset and they don't want to feel like a jerk or a jerkette. <laughs> so they keep in touch thinking they're helping you to deal with the breakup by being there for you. But meanwhile, they may be dating someone else and you may not even know it. Maybe they tried to replace you and it didn't work since there is only one of you and that's your superpower. <laughs> so they're trying to sneak back in mm -hmm, without you noticing, without asking. And they'll do things such as liking your posts, watching your stories, etc. And these actions in and of themselves may or may not mean something, but it may possibly mean that they're trying to get you to reach out to them. They have too much pride to contact you, but do not fall for it. It could also be because you were good friends to begin with, either before you started dating or while you were dating, and you get on great as friends. So you're easy to talk to, you understand them and know them on a level that most people don't. So they want to keep on talking. But again, are you just getting your hopes up for no reason? Another reason, and you're not going to like this one, <laughs> is as a backup. If they're not 100% sure about the breakup, 
they may want to still keep in contact in case they decide that they made a mistake and want to get back together. So they keep in touch, but don't want to see you. Or if they do see you, they don't talk about getting back together, but they just want to keep you around so that you don't move on. I know. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, if you want them back and they somehow got you to break no contact by responding to them, maybe they left a message that made you think that there was hope and that they do want to get back together. If you see that they're not trying to meet up with you sooner rather than later, and even if they do, they either try to have sex with you or they don't mention anything about getting back together, then you need to let them know you're not going to be in contact with them on a casual basis and not to reach out to you again unless they want to get back together. Don't let the contact with them go on for too long thinking, oh, any day now they'll want to meet up. If they don't mention it when they first talk or the second time that you guys talk, then you need to ask straight out, why are you contacting me? Let them know that you are not going to be there for them. You're not interested in being friends or a booty call. Otherwise, they'll be getting what they want, but you will not be getting what you want, which is your ex back. So I would like to hear from you. Let me know other reasons that you found in the past that an ex wanted to keep in touch. And you can post that in the comments below. But in the meantime, if you would like my help personally to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net. The direct link is below. If you're listening on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe. And most importantly, please share this video. People make so many mistakes when they're trying to get an ex back. So help them just as I've helped you by liking and sharing. If you're listening on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would rate and review the podcast. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.